cash balance in Tobin model. Look at figure A. Suppose an individual, he has a cash balance in dollars. So in the start of the month, he has $1,000. And he is using this amount of money only for transaction purposes. So he is spending this amount at a constant rate day by day. And look at, at the end of the month here. At the end of the month, he has zero balance because he is spending this amount at a constant rate. Now, at the start of the second month here, again, he receives $1,000 and he is spending the same amount at a constant rate. At, at the end of the second month, he has zero income. So this was the case when he is spending the amount at a uniform rate. Now look at case B. For example, he realized that I must invest half of the amount somewhere else by buying bonds, for example. Now he is not spending 1000, he is spending 500 and he is keeping the remaining 500 for the purpose of investment. So he is spending 500 only for transaction purposes. And at the half of the month, which is one or two here, he consumes the whole amount. And again, he has $500 the remaining. And again, at the same uniform rate, he is spending this amount. This process continues for different months. Now, the pre precautionary demand. Similar trade up to Tobin model framework benefits of holding precautionary money balances and opportunity cost of interest per gun by holding money it means that if you are holding money for precautionary motives or for precautionary purposes there are some benefits but similarly there is also an opportunity cost of interest per gun by holding money we therefore have a trade-off similar to the one part transaction balances. So in the Tobin model is also focusing by saying that there is a trade-off between interest rates, mean the earning which you can earn from spending your amount somewhere else. If you are holding the whole amount just for transaction purposes, there is an opportunity cost of interest rate which you can earn if you spend half of the amount or some of the amount somewhere else. That's why there is a trade-off between the two activities. In the conclusion, we can say that if interest rate increases, opportunity cost of holding precautionary balance increases. So people will hold less precautionary balance and money demand will decrease. So we can say that there is a negative relationship between the interest rate and the money demand. Now, what about the speculative of money demand? Keynes' analysis of the speculative demand for money was open to several serious criticism. It indicated that an individual holds only money as a store of wealth when the expected return on bond is less than the expected return on money. For example, you have money and you are storing your money. But if the expected return on bond is less than the expected return on money. Similarly, individuals hold only bond when the expected return on bond is greater than the expected return on money. It means that if you have certain amount of money and you want to keep your money as a store of wealth, what will be your decision guideline? If your expected return on bond is less than your expected return on money or if your expected return on money is greater than the expected return on bond, then you will keep money with yourself. But individuals hold only bonds. When you will hold a bond instead of money, 
if the expected return on bond is greater than the expected return on money it means that you will compare the two expected return from the two assets one is money and the second one is bond you will keep money with you if your expected return of money on money is greater than the expected return on bond on the other hand you will hold only bond when your expected return on bond is greater than the expected return on money